Is God pruning you for growth? In this video, we'll explore the signs that God might be pruning you and how to navigate this transformative journey. We're going to start by reading John 15 2. So John 15 2, it says, Jesus says, every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that continues to bear fruit, he repeatedly prunes so that it will bear more fruit, even richer and finer fruit. Pruning is vitally important for us to grow in our walk with God. In the complexities of life, you know, challenges in hardships often serve as opportunities for growth and transformation. Just as a skilled gardener prunes a plant to help it grow, a plant gets pruned so it is encouraged to grow healthier right? Many believe that God in his divine wisdom prunes our lives to foster spiritual, emotional, and personal development. While facing adversity can be daunting, I know, it's important to remember that these trials may signify a process of pruning by your Heavenly Father. So we're going to look at a few different things today that you can use to identify if God is pruning you to grow you up. The first one is struggles and trials. Now, while life takes an unexpected turn and you find yourself facing difficulties in struggles, it could be a sign that God is guiding you through a period of growth. Just as a tree needs to endure strong winds, right, to develop a sturdy trunk, challenges can shape your character and strengthen your resilience. Listen to what Ephesians 6.10 says. It says, in conclusion, or finally, be strong in the Lord. Draw your strength from him and be empowered through your union with him and in the power of his boundless might. Amen. Number two, if you feel like God is pruning you to let go of the old things in your life, you know, sometimes God prunes our lives by encouraging us to let go of things that no longer serve us. This might involve ending like toxic relationships or leaving a stagnant job or releasing some unhealthy habits. Just as dead branches are trimmed from a plant to make way for new growth, right? Shedding old patterns allows us to create space in our lives for positive change. Listen to what Isaiah 43, 18 and 19 says out of the Amplified again. Do not remember the former things or ponder the things of the past. Listen carefully. I am about to do a new thing. Now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will even put a road in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. God is in the business of replacing old with new. Number three, feeling uncomfortable. All right. Divine pruning often involves pushing us out of our comfort zones. If you find yourself in situations that challenge your familiarity, that it challenges your routine, it might be a sign that God is urging you to embrace and experience new things and to broaden your horizon. Yes, it's uncomfortable. But yes, it's necessary in order to grow and mature in our faith, in our relationship with the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, I know the, the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. 
plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. So in order for God to do that, he must push us out of our comfort zones. Number four, developing patience. Pruning is a gradual process and it requires patience. If you're confronted with delays, with waiting periods, or a slower pace of progress, it could be an indication that God is teaching you the virtue of patience, allowing your growth to unfold naturally at the right pace. Not many of us like to talk about patience. But as believers in Jesus Christ, we know that patience is a fruit of the Spirit. So we have the ability with the help of the Lord Jesus Christ to develop patience. Romans 8.25 says, But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait eagerly for it with patience and composure. Amen. Number five refocusing on the essentials, right? During times of pruning, you may find your priorities shifting. Activities that once consumed your time and energy might lose their appeal, while deeper spiritual or personal pursuits take center stage. This redirection can lead to a more purposeful in fulfilling life. Matthew 6, in the Amplified Version, it says, but first and most importantly, seek, aim at, strive after his kingdom and his righteousness, his way of doing and being right, the attitude and character of God in all these things will be given to you also. Amen. Number six, (laughs) experiencing humility. Pruning can also be humbling, right? As we face our limitations and our vulnerabilities, we learn to rely on God's strength, on God's guidance. This experience of humility fosters a deeper connection with our faith in an understanding of our place in the grand scheme of things, right? First Peter 5, 6, also in the Amplified Version says, therefore, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, set aside self-righteous pride so that he may exalt you to a place of honor in his service at the appropriate time. God wants you to experience and develop humility so that you will be able to honor him and do things that he wants you to do at the appropriate time. And the last one, number seven, seeking guidance. When undergoing pruning, seeking spiritual guidance and support can provide clarity. It can provide reassurance. Whether through prayer or meditating on the Word of God or fellowshipping with a spiritual mentor, turning to these practices during the pruning process can help you navigate the challenges of the pruning process because the truth is, is that the pruning process is challenging. Amen. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 and 10 says, there are two are better than one because they have a more satisfying return for their labor. For if either of them falls, the one will lift up his companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls and does not have another to lift him up. It is so important to have others around you when you are going through the pruning process, when you are growing and developing and maturing in your faith. Amen. So just as a gardener prunes a plant to encourage its 
growth, and vitality. The signs that God is pruning you often point toward a transformative journey of self-discovery, of spiritual development, while facing struggles, letting go of the old, feeling uncomfortable, developing patience, refocusing on the essentials, experiencing humility, and seeking God guidance might be challenging. I know these signs offer opportunities for profound growth. Embracing the pruning process with an open heart and a willingness to learn can lead to a stronger, more resilient, and spiritually enriched life. So I want to encourage you to allow God to prune you so that you can grow and mature and be strengthened in your spiritual lives. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word, Lord. We thank you that you want to prune us so that you can cut away the things that don't serve us, that don't serve you, so that we can grow and mature in our spiritual journeys so that you can use us to our fullest potential, Lord. And we just thank you and praise you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I just want to thank you for watching and I just want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. If this is the first time you've come here, then what you will find is biblical encouragement. And if you come here all the time, I just want to thank you for allowing me to speak biblical truth into your life. Okay, take care. I'll see you next time. God bless.